Sophia. Okay, so this is a little stiff player. I'm going to have to do some adjustment on the action. Let's see if I can get any more out of the truss rod or if I can lower the nut slots a little bit. And these are maxed out. They're as low as they can possibly go and still not buzz and maybe they even will. Just a little on that string. But we have a zero fret here, so there's not much to be done. So um, the nut we can't do anything about. We will probably do something at the saddle, maybe trim a little off of the bottom to bring the whole thing down slightly. I don't... I don't exactly know what action the customer prefers. This is not too, too bad, but my pace is just a little stiff. And uh, our string heights here, we have five millimeters or about seven to about seven sixty fourths. I'm sorry, not five, but uh, about two and a half millimeters at the base and cl close to three. And then we have two and an eighth millimeters at the treble. I'd like to see it down to two, and I'd like to see this down about two and a half millimeters, that is. Um, even a little lower if we can get it out. So what I'm going to try to do, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm pressing the first fret and the 14th fret, which is kind of where the neck stops being movable. And I'm tapping in the center, and I see, maybe you can too, just a very tiny gap there, basically which you can slide a business card under maybe, or a piece of paper, a thick piece of paper in the center. So that's usually ideal. Um, but I'm going to try to squeak just a little bit more out. And what happens is you have to have a little bit of scoop in there. It's called relief. And it allows the string to have somewhere to go when it's vibrating. So you can, you can hear that it's already very close to its adjacent fret. So probably can't get any of that out. There's a couple of other things that can be done too. Sometimes when a, brand, a string is brand new, it tends to puff a little bit of the first stopping point and then at the bridge a little. So maybe just to push down a little bit at this point here, kind of get the string to settle into where it's going to go instead of being lazy going over the top. You know, it's just these little tiny incremental adjustments that make all the difference sometimes. And we'll take a piece of glass and some 180 sandpaper so it'll cut pretty quick. Just do this and give it a... Make it flat. I don't want to go crazy with it, but I do want to make it flat. So now let's set it in place and see what it looks like. Okay, we definitely lost two millimeters from there. You can see the wings are somewhat higher now. We brought it down our two millimeters. It's all we really wanted to do just to compensate for that little extra high string height. And now we can put our strings back on and tune it up. Yesterday, um, I took the tailpiece off to do the cleaning, and so we'll put it back on again. Okay, there's a pretty gold tailpiece. Just always go toward the outside of the peg box as you're wrapping around the post. and see how they feel. Great, beautiful.
Okay, one quick wipe. And she is ready to go. Del Arch Gypsy Jazz Guitar. Beautiful piece. Thank you all. See you again.